Hey guys, Racing Pro here. I'm recording this in post because, well, due to the way that I was feeling while playing this game, I stopped recording commentary while I was playing it. But before we talk about that some more, have this fun little bit. Yeah, literally loaded into the game into a Pokemon. Isn't that great? Anyway, yeah, playing this game knowing that I was going to be making a shit ton of videos like this and putting them out almost immediately kind of killed my motivation to do anything in regards to the game. So while I kept recording my gameplay, I stopped recording my own personal audio with it because it was, yeah, it was just making things worse for me. So you get me, future me instead. Anyway, we're flying to that town, not even going to worry about the pronunciation, and going to challenge the gym. That's basically what this episode is going to be. And, uh, yeah, this is apparently the biology teacher, I believe. It's also a homeroom teacher, but in case it's not obvious, I didn't go to school during any of this. I went to school after I finished the game and went through all the classes and stuff, but... Yeah, no, I've had enough of that shit IRL. You know, my degree is sitting over there in college. I, I'm good. Anyway, back to the game. Of course, I saw Mimikyu in the corner. I had to go and talk to it. Mimikyu is just so good. If only its ability didn't suck past Gen 7. Also, in case it wasn't obvious at this point, Ghost Gym! And I have to get the audience warmed up in order to actually be able to battle the gym leader. Okay. So yeah, MC Sledge. What a name. And as it points out there, double battles. Goody. I love double battles. Not really. I wouldn't mind them so much if... I don't know if I actually bothered to care about them. I don't know. Look, I'm trying to record this all in one go. I'm. You should know how good I am with commentary. Anyway, gym test is starting, and immediately, if you'll notice, there's different music in the background. And while this isn't exactly my style, credit where credit's due, this music pretty much persists through this entire segment. First guy to battle. Yeah, I don't know. You can see the battle has started, though. The music persists. A nice touch. This first battle we're gonna watch in full. Chuppet and Grievered versus Rubber Room and... Requavel? Requavel? The water starter fully evolved. I don't know. I didn't really know who I wanted to target there because it doesn't really matter. Because Iron Head? Chuppet's dead. Simple as that. What about Grievered, though? This game takes so long to actually process things sometimes. With a crit, it's dead, though. No problem. It was probably dead anyway, but, you know, crit for good measure. Also note how it's the end of the battle, and it's trying to learn a move. Uh, but it's the end of the battle. The music hasn't changed. It's not going to change. Through this entire opening sequence, the music is just constant. That's always nice to hear. Yeah, battle is properly over. I said no to Mega Kick because 75% accuracy? Are you kidding me? That's going to miss three quarters of the time, not hit. So anyway, lights on the stage get turned on. More of the audience is there. Lots of, uh, soundstones and stuff. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. That's how you know I'm doing well, I guess. Why I paused this long on that line, I don't know. I actually overlooked that little pause while I was putting this together. Oops. But yeah, so for these next few trainers, I'm just gonna cut it up because you get the point by now, right? All I have to do is defeat their Pokemon. So, Hunter Mistrevis. 
Iron Head, Mr. Evis, it lives. Hunter uses Curse, which puts it at half health. So, uh... Yeah, Aqua Step, done. Obviously, Quiquavel ended up losing a bit of HP. Oh, and Mistrevis flinched. Yeah, there's the HP loss from Curse, but it's no big deal. And Mistrevis died at some point there. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I forgot about this. You get step boost when the audience cheers for you, but for whatever reason, it only gets the... The red animation on Revivroom there? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Mistrevis is down with the uh, Aqua Jet, I think that was. And the stage lit up more, just like he said it would. Audience is getting more pumped. Also, did I just see a Snom or was that a Bergmite? They heal your team in between every battle, and yeah, you get to battle this guy at the very end. Isn't that wonderful? What a face he just made. Really good in a double battle, he says. Yeah, we'll see about that. Sableye, Drift Blim. Once again, Iron Head into Drift Blim. Takes it down most of the way, but not quite all the way. Aqua Step into Sableye, same deal. And then Drift Blim does the big brain strat and self-destructs. Doesn't hit Sableye. Hardly does anything to Reverb Room, and Quaquavel. Nah. Still negligible. So Drift Blim took itself out. Once again, audience is cheering, and oh, McQuavel got the uh, boost animation there. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I didn't show the first time. Anyway, Aqua Jet, Sableye's down. GG. So that battle three of three, and uh, yeah, it was me who sledged him up. Jokes. Anyway, battle is, or the stage, rather, is fully lit up. I saw both Bergmite and Snom, I guess. Also a snow run there now. So yeah, gym test passed. And now it's time for the main battle. So, there's a bit more in the recording here, I guess, because he keeps talking or something. So I'm going to take this moment to take a quick drink. The MC of R.I.P. Rhyme. Yes, that's right. I forgot, he's introducing the gym leader now, that's why. So yeah, you enjoy this cutscene while I take a quick drink. Remember to stay hydrated, folks. Probably should have hooked up my stream deck for this so I could easily mute and unmute on the fly, but oh well. I'm a professional. Professional amateur, maybe. So, yeah, anyway. Faffed around a bit, healed, all that good stuff, and now it's time to actually challenge the gym leader. And there's something going on on the stage, like a rap battle. Because, you know, obviously hearing somebody go yo yo means that there's a rap battle going on. I don't know. This guy. Apparently a pro cashier, and he's going to show up. Yeah, I don't know. This ain't my thing. I'm just playing the game, you know? What I can tell, though, is that Rhyme is absolutely schooling this fool. Also... When are we getting voice acting in the Pokemon series? This is two generations now where you have a gym with music as like a core theme of it. It would have made this gym so much better. And let's not even talk about peers. It's just not. So, yeah. I don't know. She's like a Sableye, apparently. Her words, not mine. The MC of RIP. Out of her live, let's make this a vibe. Unfortunately, as you can hear, the music reverts back to the normal beat for the, uh, the gym battle. We don't get anything special. 
This is a shame. But, as you can see, Bayonet and Sableye come out to greet me right off the bat, and of course the first thing I'm going to do once AI stop saying things... There it goes. Aqua Jet into Mimikyu to break the disguise. I used the Mimikyu in most of my playthroughs of Gen 7, so I know exactly how it works. I get Sucker Punch, but that's not a big deal. Iron Head, Mimikyu, dead. Uh, I miss when Disguise was actually good. Oh well. Houndstone comes out, and the crowd cheers for me, which means that we get the boosts. Attack and special attack to both, both Pokemon. Bayonet, Shadow Sneak, not that much damage from it. Iron Head somehow just leaves Bayonet on a sliver of health, though. Mildly annoying, but that's okay. Aqua Step into Houndstone, and it... What, 60%? Not bad. Play Rough into Quickwavel, though, and... Ow. Also, my attack boost from the previous turn is now gone. Apparently, though, if the crowd cheers for her, her Pokémon get boost. In that case, accuracy. Anyway, Aqua Jet into Bayonet, dead. And, let me guess, Iron Head? Yeah. Houndstone's down as well. That leaves a 2v1 for the final matchup. And, uh, what's she got? Not gonna be a Ghost-type, obviously, because that would just be silly. No, low-key Toxtricity. You know it's low-key because it's blue. And not yellow. I don't know. I got more step boost there, we didn't need to see that again. And as it's the final stage, all the Houndstone and such are going to jump up. Also, I terrestrialized my uh, Rev of Room, and shoutouts to DJ G-Rave. Nice little animation on him there. So, yeah, I terrestrialized. You don't need to see that again, right? Here's her terrestrializing. As expected, Toxtricity turns into a pure ghost type. Just for Quavel you to, to use Aqua Jet, and then River Vroom to use Terra Boosted Iron Head, and it's done. Simple as that. Yeah, I don't know. Battle's over. I win. Considering not too long ago... I like the thumbs up. Considering not too long ago my team was looking rather weak... Not doing too bad now. Nice little picture there from just off the stage. And as noted there, I can now catch up to level 50 Pokémon without issue. I can catch above that, they just won't listen to me. Get Shadow Ball as a TM, which is always nice. And, uh... Well, of course, there's always got to be a cutscene before or after this stuff, right? Asshole is the art teacher, as a reminder. As well as an Elite Four member. Yeah, he got... a bit emotional, to put in his words there. We'll get to him at some point. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside, though. Ha! Ah! Yeah, imagine going to school. That's my reaction. So yeah, I got out of the gym building and immediately did this. Oops. Fortunately, the game will reset you. So I decided after that to go exploring, heading for the fairy Team Star camp, and you can see I managed to get myself into the water here. I don't think I was able to move forward there. And then I respawned on land, and, um, uh, Maridon? Maridon, where are you? There you are. Yeah, I don't know why that happened there, but he came back eventually. Anyway, I went further down the hill and started beating up ice types using the le Let's Go? No. Whatever it's called. That feature, the auto battle feature, does not get you much experience. Then eventually hit the Pokemon Center that was down there, turned around, and... 
turned around and then hit the Pokemon Center. Regardless, the fourth of the five Team Star bases needed to be taken care of, so I started talking to them. And of course, with every cutscene comes... With every new base comes more cutscenes. Of course, I didn't get the cutscene with Clive, because I had gotten that one in the previous episode, I believe. I think it was part 14, when I ran into the fighting base. Or near it, I should say. Anyway, this guy was a pushover. Didn't take much to defeat. And, uh... Yeah, he gives me a warning, even though I just kicked his ass. Apparently he used to be the director of the Academy. We'll get more into that, though, when I actually go ahead and battle this group. Like I said, I don't want to... I didn't want to do it at this point. And even if I did, this video is getting long enough. I've been trying to keep them closer to 20 minutes for the most part, so... Yeah, we'll save that for another video. Cass is once again explaining stuff for this, which is relevant. You can read it if you want. I'm not going to voice over it, because then I'd just be reading what's on the screen. How fun is that? Not to say that's a bad thing to do. Anyway, there was a Sylveon further down the hill. That was a special Terra one. And it's still Fairy-type. But hey, it's a Sylveon that I can catch. So I might as well try, right? Iron Head obviously destroys it, gets it out of its Terrid state so I can actually catch it, and then one Ultra Ball later, and it's caught. Yeah, simple as that. Of course, leaving the nice little Dex entry there, so you can see the cover art or whatever for the book. I finally decided to go for a Vivian, and I missed, apparently. Woke it up in the process, but hey, the backstrike still counts to boost the... Uh, catch rate by, I think, 1x. So Quick Ball ends up being 6x and Subtle 5x, and there you go. Vivian. So yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Because pretty much after this, I just did a little bit more exploring, and then took on the next big thing. And again, I don't want this video to get too long, so we're gonna leave that for the next video. So, normal outro. Sure. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching, and hopefully... I'll catch you in the next video, or something like that. I don't know. Later!